like everything happens on a grand scale here in the Kimberley. The landscape is enormous and spectacular. It's a brilliant place to discover your spirit of adventure. And probably no better example is a 70k drive from the town of Kununurra to Lake Argyle. The largest artificial lake in the Southern Hemisphere. Lake Argyle was created as part of the Ord River Irrigation Scheme, a plan dating back to the 1940s. The first stage was construction of the Diversion Dam in Kununurra, which was completed in 63, sending water from the Ord River where the nearby Ivanhoe Plains would benefit and become a future food bowl for Australia. There's over 10.7 billion cubic litres of fresh water here. That is equivalent to 18 Sydney harbours. And the water's not just used for irrigation, it's also used to generate power. There is a 30 megawatt power facility here that generates all the power that's required for Argyle Village, for Kununurra and also Wyndham. It is absolutely massive. There are lots of ways to explore the region, but few better than cruising the lake and taking a tour, which you can do at sunset with a swim and a drink, or hire a watercraft yourself and take a cruise. You can also head out on a fishing safari, maybe catch a barra. There are lots of options and a huge area to explore. You know, history of this place is pretty remarkable. The Durack family first built the homestead about 16 k's away in the middle of what is now the dam. And when that dam was built, they made the decision to break everything up and shift it piece by piece to higher ground. These days, it's a really great spot to come to learn about the history of the area and the challenges the families faced as they set up cattle stations across the region. This incredible piece of history is cared for by Gretchen. The thing that I find the most remarkable is the fact that they could move it from so far away and rebuild it, recreate it here on the clifftop and keep its authenticity. The original homestead was so remote and just the fact that they survived and created quite a good lifestyle for them and also for the local indigenous tribes. Yeah, they really prospered. The original homestead site is today flooded and visitors can actually do a dive to the bottom of the lake to explore the ground once walked on by Patsy Durack himself. It's quite surreal when you think about it. This part of the Kimberley is ideal for adventurers. If you're a sporty type, get your mates together, plan in your calendar and come for the Lake Argyle swim or adventure race. You can also bring gear and go scuba diving or mountain biking. There's so much to do. This is a huge area and if you're going to stay just down the road from the museum, you'll find the Lake Argyle Resort and Caravan Park, all different types of accommodation, great restaurant, wonderful bar, and one of the world's best infinity pools. Get a load of the view here. This is insta-perfect. <laughs>